Hi, I'm Victoria Finch, and I am the Heart Healer. I help, I work with women who want to feel more connected and release fear and anxiety so that they can create healthier relationships and create lasting friendships. I'm here right now with Joyce Licorice. She is one of my clients. And uh, I just want to take a moment to chit chat with her and let's talk a little bit about her experience. Joyce is a actress, singer, songwriter, author, and many more things, mom, <laughs> as many of us are. Uh, Joyce, so you and I have known each other for years and years and years. Uh, I think we figured out 10 years. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Probably at least 10 years. I know it's been a while. Um, what was the pain and frustration that you were feeling um, that made you decide that, hey, I need to talk to Victoria? Well, I remember just uh, a while back, several years ago, actually, I was working in corporate America. I had been on the same job for 12, 13 years. Good paying job. Everybody's like, oh, you should be so happy, so thrilled. And I just was so unthrilled and not happy and unfulfilled. And I remember having a heart to heart with you and you saying to me, uh, giving me some tidbits on how to find my purpose and um, just if I wasn't happy to, to do something else. It was up to me to choose something different. And so that conversation, I didn't take action right then. It took me a long time, but I wish now that I would have taken action a long time ago because now my life is so different. So, so what, that was that was pretty much where it started. You were working in corporate America. You were getting paid well, yeah. right? And um, for all purposes on the outside, it seemed like you had it going on pretty well. So what right. was the straw that kind of broke the camel's back that says, you know, I'm really, I want out of corporate, corporate America? Well, my cubicle started feeling like a jail cell. <laughs> I, <guess laughs> that, I sat at my desk one day and I am a writer. I wrote a poem called Let Me Out This Here Box. And it was a, it was literally a poem about how suffocated I felt sitting in that square under those uh industrial fluorescent lights all day and sitting in meetings about stuff i had zero desire to listen to participate in and i realized that i'm not walking in my calling this is not what god put me here to do i cannot do this 10 15 20 more years i gotta get out and so that was it for me um and then some things happened and the job ended anyway so it was kind of like i didn't take the leap so god just kind of kicked me out <laughs> i was like okay now sink or swim do your own thing and i've been swimming pretty good so far so and it's been uh for me now i've been out of corporate america about 19 months okay so what were, what were some of the things you were feeling i know frustrated like get out of this box what was that causing? I felt suffocated. I, I was anxious. I like I would feel on Sunday night, you know, after you know, we spend the day with the family and dishes are put away after dinner and everybody's getting put to bed. The anxiety would start creeping in that tomorrow I have to do this crap all over again. Mm. And it just it was just I, I can't use any other word other than anxious, uh, or or perhaps the suffocation that suffocating feeling of just going through the motions of the same mundane thing that I, I that's so unfulfilling for me. I oh, just, yeah. I hated it. I dreaded it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so what did you end up doing? What did, what were the result of us having um, a conversation and actually getting you, I know you mentioned it, you know, you knew your purpose wasn't where you were. Right. So can you expound a little bit about on um, what results that you've had? Brad, yeah, so I had a little pity party. party. I, know, I had a little pity like party first. Brag. I didn't jump into action. Go ahead. Go ahead. What'd you say? I know you don't like to brag on yourself, but go ahead. Ah. <laughs> well, after my pity party was over from losing my job, I was like, hang on. This is what you wanted. What do you mean? What are you going through? And so I took action. Um, I actually um, went to a life coaching class and, and I was just told to do something that would move, touch, and inspire others once I'm gone and I was like, what is that thing? And then I remember the words that you told me. It was like, what are your gifts? What are your talents? What would you do without a paycheck? And I'm like, hmm, I sing. Uh, I do that without a paycheck. I do it all the time in the shower. Um, and I love to write. And my day job was as a writer, but writing boring technical documents. So I was like, why don't I write some things that I love? So I wrote my first novel 
and I recorded my first single and signed a recording contract at 40 some years old. You know what I mean? I, I, I got out of my own way and I just made some things happen. And now I'm a best selling author uh, with a record deal. Wow. Well, how did that change your relationships and friendships then as you started on this journey of self discovery? There's something in here. <laughs> well, you know, you just have the, a handful of people, hopefully, you have a handful of people in your corner that are like, yeah, go for it. But if I'm honest, it changed some of my relationships in a bad way because some of my family members are like, girl, you left that good job. You better go back. And it was like they were not supportive of me doing my own thing and being an entrepreneur. They felt like the security for me and my family was in that job that I hated. And some of those relationships, I still talk to them, but it's just different because I don't let that negativity, you know, I don't let that sink in and I don't let that uh, detract from what I'm doing. And I know that I am my own accountability partner. So when I wake up in the morning, I don't get to just lay around. I have to get up and write, or I have to get up and write a song, or I have to get up and work on my podcast. I have to do something. So um, they thought I was just going to lay around and be lazy and go broke. And that's so not me. And so yeah. the relationship so, dynamic changed a little bit. So were you able to, at that point, uh, find a different tribe, create some other lasting relationships that would help you um, as you're going through your new journey? I do. Yeah. 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 yeah, I have some accountability partners. Uh, Lisa yeah. Maywell, one of my partners, we started a film production company. Uh, Lisa has been an excellent accountability partner. We talk almost every day. What are you writing on? What are you working on? What are our goals for the week? You know, it's she holds my feet to the fire. Um, and we've gone from me being a best selling author to adapting that book into a feature film to going out and making connections. I've signed a $98 million film production deal for my first three books. And it all happened because I took the leap and got out of that job I hated. Um, but yes, to answer your question, absolutely, I have a new circle, completely yeah. new circle. And that's something that, that I want in. people to understand is that when we start working and stepping into our purpose and we get out of that anxiety, that space of anxiety and fear that sometimes that some of the people who came along beside us before, that sometimes they can't always go where we're going. Right. And right. so it's all about, and that's why it's so important that we create lasting friendships. And uh, right. once we start working on us and we can get rid of that angst and that fear and we can actually step out, then we're able to create healthier relationships with those people who right. will lift us up. So I know that's right. a really important part of this. One more question right. for you. Where are you going to be in six months? Where do you see yourself? Well, let's just say this coronavirus thing blows over. <laughs> I see myself on the set of one of my first films, uh, yes. The Forgotten Time People. We should be filming it uh, this summer uh, if everything is lifted and we're able to do so. Um, so I see myself uh, co-directing my project uh, on set in Atlanta, Georgia. I took the leap and I relocated from Indianapolis to Atlanta and I see myself jumping in full throttle and starting my film production company. 98 million dollar contract yeah it's signed i'll have a check yet though I'll no, have to that's check okay yet. it's coming but what the contract basically is is executive producer finder agreement he's committed to finding those funds for my projects and this executive producer also was the ep on creed too to kind of give some credence to well, his there you go so what would you what advice would you give someone who was looking at this and would consider booking uh, a meeting with me or a strategy call, um, what advice would you give them as far as your experience with working with me? I mean, I would highly recommend that people just take action. Don't procrastinate. Um, life is happening right now. And every day that you wait is another day that you are unfulfilled and still doing the same thing that you aren't loving. And life is too short to not be loving every day of it. So yeah. I say, take the leap. I'm a girl. That's right. <laughs> well, thank you. It is always a pleasure to see you. Sometimes I don't know if I can keep up with what all you have going on right now. I know you recently moved to Atlanta. Oh, there's so much going on. Thank you so much for oh, yeah. taking, taking time out of your schedule. I know we've got the coronavirus, but uh, I know you, you're always doing something. And now you are got this YouTube channel going on. I do. So, by doing which is morning daily information.
information, inspiration, affirmations, all of those patients uh, that we need in our life to put us on the right path. Something to just start your day off right. Usually only two or three minutes for podcast. But yeah, by all means, check me out on YouTube or at Instagram at uh, Sweetest Motivation or uh, on Sweetest Inspiration on uh, YouTube. Well, she was cutting out a little bit on that, but um, she does uh, daily motivation and inspiration, all those Asians, as she calls it, on YouTube. And I will put a uh, link to her YouTube channel and also her Facebook page uh, and some more information so that you can follow Joyce as well as uh, she ascends to God's purpose in her life. And if you would like to book with me, I'm, Vic I'm Victoria Finch. And I will also put in the comment section information on how you can book your strategy call with me so that you can have healthier relationships and that you can work out, walk out in your purpose as well. We all need to be connected. We, we are such a disconnected society right now. And so we need to work on being more connected, especially we as women. Thank you again for your time, Joyce. It's yes. always a pleasure to see you.